Aaron, why do you think Clay Holmes was unable to locate like he likely would have wanted to this evening? Yeah, I mean, just um, yeah, struggled struggled with strikes there, obviously with uh, with Bogarts, you know, losing him, and um, you know, and then Verdugo, obviously. So, and then Martinez is able to put one put one in play through the middle. So, you know, obviously that's a situation we got to you know got to get the strike thrown right. He struggled over the last couple of weeks. Can you continue to keep him in that closer role? We'll see. I mean, I'll try and get him in best positions to be successful. Uh, you know, some nights that'll be the ninth. Some some nights it'll be other nights. Obviously, having a full full go with the pen tonight. You know, we're set up pretty good, um, but we'll keep working with him and and, and got to get him right and consistent. Do you think he can benefit from some lower leverage situations just to try to get right? Uh, he's been in some spots like that. You know, he was in one the other night that that didn't go great, and then he bounced back the next day in a in a high leverage spot and was excellent. So I'm not too worried about necessarily the the right you know leverage, like you say, but it's just a matter of getting him locked in mechanically and and you know and, and letting it rip. Do you think he's dealing with any fatigue? He's probably been used uh, harder than he has in previous seasons. I don't think so. Uh, I, I, in fact, I don't think he has been. You know, he's obviously never been in this role. Um, but, you know, I, I actually think maybe he'd benefit from more regular work. There were times where, you know, he's in that role where we're keeping him out of there. Um, so I don't think it's I, I don't think it's a fatigue thing. From what you've seen from Araldis lately, is it possible that he could go back to being the closer and, and, it, and using those yeah, high leverage situations? We'll see. I mean, he was in a high leverage situation tonight, so he's going to continue to be in those. He's throwing the ball incredibly well. So um, love what we're seeing there, and we'll keep building on that, and uh, we'll see where it, we'll see where it leads. But um, we're, we continue to obviously be really encouraged by what we're seeing from Aroldis. Do you get a sense from the lineup that they're pressing at all, you know, leaving a lot of guys on base tonight? Yeah, I mean, you know, this was one of those games where, you know, felt like we should have, you know, thrown some crooked numbers up there and had a chance to probably put that game away early. You know, it felt like we had Nate on the ropes a lot. You know, he throwing a lot of pitches, working hard, had her chances, and just couldn't throw that knockout punch early. And so that's a little frustrating. And we got to make, you know, especially when you're not hitting that, the ball out of the ballpark a ton, you got to, you know, but when you're pressuring them, pressuring them like, like they, we are, and again, a lot of really good at bats, but you got to throw that knockout punch. How encouraging has Herman been to keep getting better and better? Yeah, another good outing for him. Um, you know, this time six innings, one run, you know, doing that here. Um, yeah, very encouraging to see him continue to build, uh, build in his season. Gave us a great opportunity tonight, obviously.